Hello everyone, welcome to EGEDA platform and this is Ravind Jangit here, your electrical faculty and in this video, I am going to talk about the DC filters and its characteristics. So, so I will start with the DC filter concepts, what are actually it is important and what we are actually needed in the DC filter. So already we were using the AC filters which were also adding to the you or you can say that it is compensating your reactive power also. So what the DC filter and what it is uh, used for in the HVDC your transmission systems. Okay. So we will start with the reading of these points. So if I start with the first point it is saying that. It is saying that the DC voltages on the converter side contains both the characteristic harmonics and the non-characteristic harmonics. So I think this point is uh, pretty much clear for you. That is, if you talk about the DC voltages on the converter side, we have the converter side, the rectifier, and the inverter. We have the two converter sides. So when we talk about the converter side, it means in between both the convert stations, there will be the HVDC transmission. So what happens the this uh, transmission will have the harmonics uh, kind of the your characteristic harmonics and the non characteristic harmonics what are the characteristic harmonics it will follow the relation np plus minus 1 if it is not followed by any harmonics then it is called as a non characteristic harmonics now which causes the current harmonics if you're talking about the voltage so definitely it is going to be related with the current and the current harmonics so causes the current harmonics and that due to the, the DC voltages will have and due to these harmonics will also cause the generation of the current harmonics that is I1 upon H that is a fundamental we have seen there and the noise in the on next is noise in the telephonic line that is a communication line telephonic communication lines so there will be noise or disturbance you can see. The next point is specifying the harmonic current varies from point to point, varies from point to point along the line from the converter station as depends on the stations. As we know, the harmonic currents will obviously going to be depending on the your uh, distances, and we will discuss with the one of the graph which is in the next slide. So it is actually depending on the distance, and if it is actually depending on the distance, so there will be a variations okay and that variations can be a kind of oscillating type so there will be variations point to point variations so as the distance vary there will be a variations in the harmonic current also now the effectiveness of the dc filter is judged by one of the following condition it is saying if we talk about the dc filter what will be the effectiveness what will be the uh, value or importance of that so the if you talk about the point number a it is saying that the maximum tif value on the dc side voltage bus okay and the, this is tif and the we will require the maximum tif value on the dc side uh, voltage bus now the maximum included noise voltage that is inv or uh, this is i actually inv in the millivolt per kilometer millivolt Per kilometer in the parallel test line situated one kilometer away from the HVDC. Okay, so this is all about the uh, I and V. We will discuss uh, the variation of that with the distance also. So it is uh, it will be measured in the millivolt per kilometer, and that is in the parallel test line situated one kilometer from the converters. Maximum permissible that is from noise to the ground, which is measured in the decibel here on the telephone lines close to the HVDC lines that is close to the HVDC lines now so this is uh, this actually the figure representing your variation of the C message variation of the C message weighted induced noise voltage that is I and V for the three cases the first is monopolar mode second is the bipolar mode and the third is the monopolar with the earth return as a function of the distance so this is all about that variations uh, if that variation of the INV as per your distances. So this is all about the INV. So let's see one by one what is uh, it is specifying. 
so a is the curve a is representing your monopolar metallic earth return b is representing the bipolar and the c is representing your earth return monopolar so this is the kind of the oscillations okay and this is the b so this is the lowest of that so noise induced in the bipolar is kind of inb if you talk about the distance it is comparable and it is not varying too much the amplitude is also less as compared as the variations but it is the value less okay and uh, you can say the average mean line mean path is very less as compared to your uh, monopolar metallic earth return and the monopolar earth return so this is all about and this is the c okay this point is c this curve is representing here and this curve is actually your c so and uh, this curve is actually your a point and what is a your monopolar monopolar metallic earth return so this is all about the inb and the inb is measured in the millivolt per kilometer okay so that is induced noise voltage due to these harmonics now these are the some important points so, which are specifying on the dc filters the induced noise voltage in uh, of 18 to 20 millivolt per kilometer is allowed for the monopolar operation so if we talk about whenever we are talking about the monopolar operation okay monopolar dc link monopolar operation then in that monopolar operation the inb value is going to be vary from 18 to 20 millivolt per kilometer that is only the uh, allow allowable value or you can say that is a permissible value for that now generally the single tuned and the double tuned filters okay look at this point okay single tuned and the double tuned filters are used to filter out the sixth twelfth harmonic voltages and the HPF are used to filter out the higher order harmonics. Okay, guys. So, what is actually specifying this point? It is saying whenever we are having the harmonics, we have to we have to filter out these values. Okay, guys. We have to filter out these values and these harmonics kind of that from it will be a lower order harmonics and the higher order harmonics. Actually, the lower order harmonics are dangerous to filter out. But if we talk about the higher order harmonics, that the value, the content value will be uh, will be high, and uh, due to that, that is not dangerous as compared to the lower order harmonics. So what is actually doing? If we are having the sixth and the twelfth harmonic voltages, if we are having the sixth and the twelfth harmonic voltages, then it is uh, easily filter out by the single tuned and the double tuned, or you can say the double tuned filters. But if we are talking about the higher order harmonics, then the higher order harmonics, then the remaining higher order harmonics, then are actually filtered out by the HPF, that is the high pass filter. So it will filter out the higher order harmonics. Now, from the analysis, it is uh, found that the DC filters help in limiting the magnitude of the over voltages. Obviously, it is going to be and elongating the front time in case of the monopolar links. Okay, guys. So, if we talk about that analysis related with the DC filters, so it is what it is doing. It is reducing the magnitude of the over voltages. It is reducing the magnitude of the over voltages. It is a kind of in your surges. Okay, whenever you are having the DC circuit breakers, so there are also a DC circuit breakers. Or if you directly talk, talking about the circuit breakers, there are the high surges, or you can say the arresters also. Then these high surges, the amplitude of high surges are kind of uh, over voltages type, and these can be eliminated, not the permanently eliminated. This can be reduced by these filters also. Apart from if we are talking about the AC filters, these AC filters are kind of the reactive power compensation, but I think, but if we talk about the DC filters, this is actually reducing the magnitude, or please remember magnitude of the over voltage. And also elongating the front time, elongating the front time case of the monopolar links. Now, if we talk about the DC filters, DC filters designed only to eliminate the DC harmonics, the voltage, and there is no need of the filters to supply the reactive power as in the case of the AC filters. I hope you have understood. Let us understand again, uh, again and that is. The DC filters are designed only to eliminate, only, please focus on this point, only to eliminate the DC harmonics. 
and there is no need of the filters to supply the reactive power that is a q we have the p and the q p is your active power this is a q is a reactive power we have already discussed in the above points that is actually is done in the ac filters i hope you have understood that in the ac filters filtering out the ac harmonics we are also doing the reactive power compensation but it is not done in your dc filters we are what we are doing in the dc filters we are simply designed these are it will eliminate the, or you can say reduce the dc dc harmonics along with that it is also going to do the elimination of the dc harmonics voltages okay now the designers must take into account that they are subjected to the stresses so from the processing or you can the factory from the factory processing units if you talk about that designer will take uh, take in mind that uh, what is it will also consider the stresses the stresses related to your uh, uh, supply lines or hvdc lines so if there is our stresses so it is uh, they are also taking into consideration due to the dc voltages in addition to the harmonics they are also doing the uh, they are also focusing on the harmonics that is the main purpose for the dc filters but along with that they, they are also take into consideration of the stresses so i hope you have understood all the concepts all the points which i have mentioned in this uh, slides that is the dc filters and its characteristics so data bye bye and thank you